cactus pear is a high productive species with high resistance to drought. It is widely cultivated in arid and semi-arid regions worldwide. It is an upright plant that can grow to 3.5 up to 5 meters high. Evergreen plant, easy to establish with low water demands. Cacti are gaining increasing interest across the globe, in particular cactus pear. The Latin name is Opensificus indica. Cactus pear has several nicknames, including green gold, fruit for the poor. These names convey the importance of Opensia because of their resistance to drought and high temperature and their adaptability to poor and shallow soils. In fact, cactus pear can grow on land where no other crops are able to grow with minimal agronomic inputs and care. In addition to its resilience as a crop, cactus pear is also increasingly appreciated for its multiple purpose. The fruit and young cladot can be consumed by human and there is a growing interest in its use as a fodder for livestock. More recently, several benefits have emerged showing the importance of cactus pear for medicinal and cosmetic purposes. Cactus pear is propagated vegetatively through mature robust and healthy cladodes, one to two years old. These cladodes should be collected from healthy medium to large size plant. Cladodes can be single, double, or Mickey Mouse. After cutting the cladodes, they should be stored in a shaded dry area for 10 days to two weeks. This will form callus tissue over the cut edge. Cladodes may be planted at any time of the year, but it is advisable to avoid periods of frost when night temperature goes below zero. Choose the sunny and well-drained sandy soil fields with minimal frost. The cladodes can be planted in holes or in furrows. The fruit production and under normal field conditions, the cladodes are spaced two to three meters apart and three to four meters between rows. The fodder production less spacing is required, one to two meters between cladodes and two to three meters between the rows. The spacing can be reduced under intensive fodder production systems. At least half or two-thirds of the cladodes must be buried in the soil facing the sun and slightly tilted. It is recommended to apply a mix of farm manure with soil while planting. Excessive water can cause the cactus pear to rot. It is best to water the planted cladodes minimally. To develop strong plant with strong root systems, the cladid should be protected for two to three years. Animal grazing can cause severe damage and even inhibit growth of cladded growth. Most farmers in our part of the world, Middle East and North Africa, do not fertilize or irrigate cactus pear, and the productivity remains low, ranging from 1.5 to 2.2 ton per hectare for fodder production, and from 1 to 3 ton per hectare for fruit production. However, under intensive production system, Productivity can be increased several folds. To reach this high level of productivity, farmers have to provide adequate input. For fruit production, up to 100 tons per hectare of organic fertilizers combined with mineral fertilization 
150 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen, 50 phosphorus and 75 potassium. For fodder production, from 100 to 200 tons per hectare of organic fertilizers. Supplemental irrigation can be provided only when needed and preferably through drip irrigation. Weed control is recommended to minimize competition. Hand weeding is the best. However, herbicides can be applied carefully. Pruning is important and can be done according to the described design, but also to allow sunlight to reach all parts of the plant and to improve air flow through the plant. Damaged cladodes, either through illicit grazing or bad weather, hail, should be removed. Through providing appropriate agronomic practices, strong plant with the optimum growth can be achieved. The global interest for cactus has led establishment in 1993 of the FAO Acarda International Technical Cooperation Network on cactus to promote the ecological and benefits and use of cactus pear and to improve technical capability of cactus production in the world. Anyone who can join this network to learn more about cactus pear activities in the world. To join, please click on the link to create an account.